Hey guys, this is Official Creo, and today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to rotate your brushes and also how to do some other modifications with your brushes. And I use this technique in most of my backgrounds and it's very useful. So I thought I'd make a tutorial and besides I got like five people who's been asking me how to do this. And uh, my previous tutorials has been pretty successful. You know, the one I made on how to create a nice 3D text, that one's almost at 100 likes now, which is pretty awesome. So let's get started. Okay, so I just set up a very basic square shaped brush and black as my foreground color. And I selected my brush tool and my brush. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. This is with no effects applied. And here I applied some angle jitter, which pretty much means that the brushes are rotated, as you can see. And uh, as I said, I'm not only going to show you that, I'm also going to show you some other cool things you can do. So here I applied some size jitter, which pretty much means that every time you click, the size of the brush will change. So you don't have to adjust the size uh, settings every time you want to change the size. And same thing goes with the opacity jitter. So here you can see that the opacity is different and I didn't change the settings every time I sort of painted this and this and this etc. Uh, this is just one of the settings so every time I clicked the opacity changes. Alright so I'm going to start by showing you this first effect so you want to make sure that your brush tool is selected and just select the brush that you want to use then go to window and uh, brush and you should get this window somewhere around here. So to rotate the brushes, what you want to do is you want to enable shape dynamics. And uh, make sure that everything is set to 0% except for the angle jitter. But before you change the settings, you have to make sure that the control is set to off. Alright, so um, this is pretty much where you choose how much you want the brushes to rotate. So if we have this at, say, 3%, they will only rotate a little bit, as you can see. But if we move this up to, say, 40%, they will rotate a lot more. And the only bad thing about this is that you can't really control like how you want the brushes to rotate. You can only control uh, how much it's going to rotate. But that's it for this first effect. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the second one right here. So I'm going to move the angle reader back down to 0%. And then I'm going to go up here to where it says size jitter. And you want to make sure that control is set to off here as well. And now you can start messing around with these settings. So uh, both of these settings sort of uh, controls the size of the brush so the size jitter is pretty much how random the sizes will be and the minimum diameter is yeah the minimum diameter so if you don't want the brushes to be like super small you can, you can see this one in the middle if you don't want it to be that small you can move up the minimum diameter but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna I'll keep it at 0% so uh, if we move up the size jitter to something low 5% the difference won't be that big, as you can see, they're pretty much the same. But if you move it up all the way to 100%, they will change a lot more. And uh, of course you can sort of combine these effects. So if I have both size jitter and angle jitter enabled, they will uh, rotate and change its size. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the last effect, which is the opacity jitter. So I'm going to move the angle jitter and the size jitter back to 0%. And I'm going to go to transfer. Make sure that this box is checked. Alright, so here you can see that you can adjust the opacity jitter. And uh, again, you want to make sure that the control is set to off. So, uh, as in all of the other effects, if you have it at a low value, like 6%, then 
the difference won't be that big. But if you move it up all the way to 100%, they will change a lot more. And uh, these are actually the three effects that I use the most. But uh, there are a lot of other settings that you can play around with if you want. Uh, for example, texture. This way you will be able to apply a texture to your brush. And uh, you can also do all sorts of different cool stuff. But um, these are the most important ones in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment or might even subscribe so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video